Safe Living Technologies is pleased to introduce the Safe and Sound Pro 2 RF meter. Built on the success and simplicity of the Safe and Sound Pro RF meter, the Safe and Sound Pro 2 is an easy to operate, wide range, far field broadband RF meter designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation from 400 MHz to 7200 MHz or 7.2 GHz. It also has a useful frequency range of 200 MHz to 8 GHz with reduced tolerance. This meter represents the latest in RF detector technology and was extensively tested for accuracy across the specified frequency range at the NEMCO certified anechoic chamber in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Shown here is the tested and useful frequency response from 200 MHz to 8 GHz. For highest accuracy, we specify a measurement frequency range of 400 MHz to 7.2 GHz with a relative plus and minus 6 dB error. If you would like to use the Safe and Sound Pro 2 for long-term measurements, the unit will operate continuously when powered via the micro USB connector shown here. The startup display will then show USB instead of a battery condition percentage. The OLED display offers great contrast and readability in all lighting conditions and is unaffected by cold temperatures. The frequency range of the Safe and Sound Pro 2 covers the radiation emitted by all cordless phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, upper and lower Wi-Fi bands, smart meters, cell phone towers, and more. The Safe and Sound Pro 2 displays all measurements in microwatts per square meter. Included in the box is the meter with two alkaline AA batteries installed, the operating manual, certificate of calibration, and a custom carrying case. To begin measuring, turn the unit on by simply sliding the power switch up to the middle or top position for enabling sound. The startup screen will show the self-calibration process and the current battery level in percent as shown. After this short display, you're ready to measure. Slowly scan an area for the highest reading. Be sure to move the meter in all directions while scanning and keep the meter at least 30 centimeters or one foot from your body. Shown here are the directions of best sensitivity. The pickup pattern can best be described as a figure eight. Note that the response time of the Safe and Sound Pro 2 is less than five microseconds in other words, it is capable of measuring RF pulses that are less than five millionths of a second wide. In addition to the fast response and dynamic level indicator on the top line, the Safe and Sound Pro 2 also displays the following information updated up to 20 times per second as shown. The peak measurement is the instantaneous total power level of all sources in the full measurement band of 200 MHz to 8 GHz. The max is the highest peak reading since the meter was powered on or the max reset button was pressed. The average measurement is a time averaged sum of all sources in the full measurement band of 200 MHz to 8 GHz. This value will often be much lower than the peak levels. This is due to the pulse nature of most modern digital signal sources. The following graph of a typical Wi-Fi router beacon signal shows how the Safe and Sound Pro 2 calculates average values and why the results are lower than the peak values. The blue bars indicate transmitted data pulses. In this case, they are 10 milliseconds wide. Over a one second time period, there are 10 pulses at various peak values that are tracked by the Safe and Sound Pro 2. The average is calculated by factoring in the percentage of transmit time and signal level over a 1.25 second time window. Use only the peak or max values when considering the biological effects of microwave radiation. The average scale is provided as a reference to industry standards that consider only average power levels and their thermal or heating effects on tissue. The reality of modern high-speed digital services is that the peak power levels are much higher. The Safe and Sound Pro 2 RF meter features a max reset button. Simply press this button to immediately reset the displayed maximum value. 
The Safe and Sound Pro 2 is extremely sensitive, measuring down well below 0.1 microwatts per square meter, which is the no concern area of the building biology guidelines for RF levels. As with all of our Safe and Sound devices, different levels of RF radiation are displayed by the LED indicators shown here. They are chosen very carefully by Safe Living Technologies to reflect the latest building biology guidelines and safety recommendations for sleeping areas. Readings with a flashing green, less than one microwatt per square meter, are ideal, however, very difficult to achieve in most urban areas. Readings with a solid green, slight, are safe in the one to 10 microwatt per square meter range and suitable for long-term exposure. For readings found in the yellow, moderate range of 10 to 100 microwatts per square meter, try to reduce this level for long-term exposure. For readings found in the orange, high range of 100 to 1000 microwatts per square meter, try to limit time spent in these environments. For readings found in the red extreme range of 1,000 to 10,000 microwatts per square meter, try to limit your time spent in these environments as well. Readings with a slow flashing red range of 10,000 to 100,000 microwatts per square meter and a fast flashing greater than 100,000 microwatts per square meter should be considered too high. Avoid this exposure level whenever possible. The meter's adjustable speaker volume sound replicates the signal patterns and intensity of measured RF emissions which aids in source identification. Its audio output jack, shown here, allows the unit to be connected to a sound recorder or headphones if needed. Note that the internal speaker will be muted when the audio jack is in use. When the batteries need replacing, the display will show low battery and all the LEDs will flash as shown. Once you have determined the highest peak reading, compare it to the latest building biology guidelines. Currently, SBM 2015 is the most recent building biology standard. A reasonable goal after mitigation would be to have levels reduced to the slight concern level in microwatts per square meter as shown. For more detailed information about the Safe and Sound Pro 2 and examples of common sound sources of microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at slt.co.